There is one suggestion for our prisons to be turned into schools and universities because, as it is, we continue to produce more hardcore criminals. This from Dr. Pedro Noguera as he spoke on education, diversity and the future of Trinidad and Tobago at the Dr. Eric Williams Memorial Lecture on Friday night. Pedro Noguera is a distinguished professor of education. As he spoke at the Dr. Eric Williams Memorial Lecture, he stressed the need to have equality in the education system. He said the roles schools can and should play is a resource for solving society's problems, including crime and climate change. He added, in most countries, it is demography that predicts how well our children can do. That is, rather than producing equity in our society, our schools too often produce inequity. Because access to high-quality education is not universal. If it were, it would not matter where we sent our children to school. It should be that if you live in Tunapuna or in Port of Spain or in San Fernando, it doesn't matter where. The schools are good quality. And you can be sure your children will be safe and challenged and stimulated. But we know that's not the case. He said, it cannot be that our birthright, where you live, who your parents were, determine what type of education you receive. Because when that's the case, it means that many of our young people will be doomed to a life where they cannot reach their potential simply because the opportunities were not present. And so I want you to think about what it would take for education to play a role in addressing some of the pressing challenges facing the country today. Without a proper education, young people can turn to crime and end up in prison. Here's his suggestion. Too often our prisons produce hardened criminals who come out better prepared to engage in crime. And so I want you to think about what could be if we invested in education that cultivated curiosity and an education that encouraged critical thinking. He said it has always been known that education is important for helping a country move forward. Rishi Harinanan, TTT News.